Hi everyone, it's Dr. Noni here. You're very welcome to another episode of Dr. Noni Interviews. And today I have with you, uh, with me rather, a very special guest for you. And I know I always say that, but this one is special. You know, the Bible says you should give honor to whom honor is due. And uh, I just want to celebrate my dear friend, Abimbola Debaki, who is formerly Abimbola Abbas. And uh, we went to medical school together. She's a trained pharmacist. And she has gone on to great things from those humble days in Idiaba, uh, where we both uh, qualified. And um, I just want to appreciate her because um, not only is she a pharmacist, but she's also a certified pharmacist technologist. She's the CEO of Advantage Health Africa, which is a company that helps to, you know, get reliable and um, quality medicines to people in Nigeria. And she's hoping to expand you know, her reach to Africa as well. And she's doing a great work in this field, working with technology to get the medicines from here to there. She's also been the CEO of Otomi Illuminu Foundation. She has been recognized internationally by Google, by the GM Joseph Business School. She's also been recognized you know, as an entrepreneur, a, a woman in business. She has so many accolades. And I'm so proud of her because she's my friend and she's a sister in the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so happy to welcome Abimbola Debaki, formerly known as Abimbola Abbas. Abimbo, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nami. It's good to be on your program. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. So, Abimbo, I mean, I mean, I think everyone, especially those of us um, who know you, would like to know how you, you know, you came from Idiaraba to Wikipedia. Can you just talk us through how you how you got there? <laughs> okay, I'm uh, I'm the kind of person that likes to try new things, and so I would say my career has evolved with opportunities that showed up. And from pharmacy, I went to management consulting. From management consulting, I found an opportunity in entrepreneurship development, and then I tried my hands also in entrepreneurship. So it's a more like teacher, don't teach me nonsense. That's the song by Fella Goose. So I said, okay, I've been teaching or helping and facilitating. Let me also try it out. And that's where I got myself, how I got myself here. Wow. And so in the introduction, I said that you were doing the, um, you're the CEO of Advantage Healthcare and you were helping to get medicines. Just talk us through what exactly this means. I know you started off with my medicines because you used to send me posts. And then now you're now an Advantage Health Africa. So just explain to us what exactly that entails. Okay, so I started Advantage Health Africa to address a gap in access to affordable and quality medicines. I just thought it was impossible to continue mm -hmm. to ignore such a glaring gap. Um, I had been introduced to technology in my consulting years, and I knew that we stepped you could actually aggregate supply, aggregate demand, and stay in the middle somehow as a platform developer. So we developed My Medicines First, that's our flagship program or pro product. It's a digital health solution to identify where medicines exist and to take them to where people need them, whether they're in the city, whether they're in town, whether they're in village, remote areas. And we do at different levels. So we aggregated over a thousand pharmacies in Nigeria, made sure that we could get medicines from them, and we're in about 34 states now in Nigeria. So that's how we started, making sure we can pick when you need, find some scarce medicines, or just generally make it prompt for people who need it right there and then. So that has grown over the years, and then we've done some backward integration, we built a technology to support that, we built technology to support pharmacies. We built more digital health solutions, and now we also do pharmaceutical supplies. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. I was just because I was, when I was thinking on you know the questions to ask you, I, I just wondered. Obviously, we know in, in, in Nigeria there are a lot of um, tropical diseases and infectious diseases and you know parasites, malaria, and what have you. But we'll say somebody came in um, and needed some specialized heart medication. So say the dapagliflozin. Would you, be able, would you be able to source something like that? Or is it just more the medicines that are on ground normally? Did you get the question? 
You said in case someone came for specialized medication. Yeah, so just wondering, because obviously, you know, in Nigeria, uh, when we were in school, certainly, the, you know, the saying was common things are common. So we learned a lot about infectious diseases, tropical diseases, things that we will be dealing exactly. with as our bread and butter. But I was just wondering that with my medicines and what you're doing, can you also source medicines that are a bit more specialized? So say medication for heart failure and all these new diabetic medications, are they available in Nigeria or not? So long as they are medication that we know the source, we can get it, whether it's a prescription made or, or over-the-counter medication. The only mm -hmm. medication class that we do not deal with are dangerous drugs, so that psychotropic drugs. Mm -hmm. So for those ones, you need to either pick it up from one of our network pharmacies. Uh, for medical doctors, sometimes we do you know, facilitate it, but it has to be picked up because it's a duty. But for every other thing we've done, you know, I've had people, CEOs, that called him, you know, instantly. My dad is, you know, just had a, had a cardiac failure for the hospital where he is, he has run out from. So we picked up where we know, you know, their medication like that, and then taken all the way to the island. So the point is, once the medication is available, we will find it and we'll bring it. A few times it's not available locally. So we've had to source from outside the country. So mm. that way it takes a bit more time. But in our regular finding and delivering, it's within hours, two hours, four hours, maximum. If it's out of state, 24 hours to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really amazed at the turnaround with the time because I, like I was uh, saying to you off air, I was recently in Nigeria and everything just, you know, if there's some, there's some improvements in Nigeria from when I last visited, but things tend to generally take a lot of time. So when you're saying two hours, four hours to, to get medicines to people, I think that's really impressive because just getting in Lagos traffic, it might take two hours just for you to be on the journey. So. Can you tell us a little bit about how this logistics works? You must have a fantastic team behind you. Absolutely. I do have a fantastic team, first of all, and they're fantastic. They're really, I'm not hyping them. Um, yesterday, someone sent me a screenshot of my my business being mentioned in China. She's doing a course there. And someone was mentioning it as a company to, you know, to look at. And I was like very chuffed, but I quickly took it back to the team to say thank you you know i'm getting all the glory they're doing all the work but aside from the great team we also imagined the logistics we needed across the country and there was no one providing that except for night post so i had to more or less go and tap on night post shoulder and say look you need to start doing a pickup and drop off service they hadn't done that before and this was 2020 2017 2018 mm -hmm. And so we were the first that they did it for that you they would go to a pharmacy, pick it up, and then pick drop mm -hmm. it for a patient like someone in Enugu or someone within Lagos. And so that has worked. And since then we've added more mm -hmm. third party providers and our own in-house providers. I mean, I just think that's amazing. I mean, and to be honest with you, I can't I can't celebrate you enough because you are really filling the gap. And I think that's what we want to do. We want to make an impact in the world. I mean. You've used your knowledge of pharmacy, your, your qualified pharmacists, and you've ad added technology and then gone and then filled a gap. And that's what we're all trying to do. We're all trying to just use what we have and just make a difference in the world. And so where do you see yourself going in the next, uh, and you already have awards internationally with, you know, the Google and, <laughs> and uh, Wikipedia, that's America, isn't it? And now China. So where are you going next? Are you going to space or something? <laughs> for me i need to cover more countries in africa with similar demographics and similar challenges it's so important that i can you know, i can demonstrate that africans can solve african problems i come from that philosophy and so doing this and repeating it reproducing it in other countries we have a partner right now who we serve because we we don't just do this for individuals, we also support innovators. So they serve people using SMS and so on, simple tech, but then prescriptions they generate. We, so they would like us to come and serve them and support them in Kenya. So we're moving to Kenya in a few months. And you know there are many other states or countries that are opening up for us. We also work on partners. So we just brought in a partner from Uganda to start a program where we're taking medication to about 500 
thousand homes in Kaduna State, which is a three year pilot. So we're wow. open to partnerships that will take us out of Nigeria or even bring so, some solutions into Nigeria. So that's mm. the goal. I see that happening easily now because we built the technology that would enable that to actually, you know, grow rapidly. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I can't I can't stop saying amazing because this is someone I know. It's <laughs> You know, it's 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 just it's just beautiful. I'm so your parents be so proud of you. I know your parents Thank and you. my family as well. And I know I, yeah. I, my last question to you, and I think every woman listening is like, how does she do this? Bimbo is not only a married <laughs> woman, she's a father, she's also a mother. So how on earth do you balance all this? I mean, I've been running around like a you know, chicken without a head today and trying to do one thing. Like that. You can do you know, managing things across Nigeria, Africa, even China. Please tell us, what is your super strength or power? How do we tap into this? <laughs> I think, I mean, there are different strengths that emerge at different points along the way. They, they tell you the life of the entrepreneur is filled with nadirs and, you know, troughs. For me, I'm a very calm person by nature. And so mm. I'm probably the one that doesn't get startled when issues are happening. I'm usually the one to, to calm people down. So maybe that's mm. a great superpower. Sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes you want to also react quickly. Mm. And I've been very fortunate with people. I've been also very graced with the fact that, you know, somehow or the other, uh, they, I came into the industry at the right time mm. to solve these problems. And uh, it's taken up shape. We now have the right laws. When I started, there were no laws around, you know, online pharmacy and all that. So I had to carry the regulator along. And mm. fortunately for me, we had a rapport. And so that helped to make sure that they didn't hinder us. They didn't support it overtly, but they also didn't hinder. So that was helpful. I think in the family, I've got so, such a strong support system. My mom, my, my housekeeper, everybody's great. And my son is used to me traveling, so he's uh, he's been he's been at it. It's just sometimes he sees me in the newspapers, or his classmates show him his mom in the papers. So he's had to adjust to that sort of you know exposure. But it's fine. It's it's really fine. Lovely. Well, Bimba, I'm sure you could talk for ages, and you probably will off air. Okay. But I just think uh, for the sake of the interview, we're going to bring it to a halt now. Um, how can people reach you? Is there a website, or are you going to be happy to share your details with us? Because you know you want, to you, you want more people to collaborate with you. Yes, I'd be very happy to share a link. If you can just reach us. In fact, we use the as low tech as WhatsApp. So share a WhatsApp link. Just click it and you get in touch with someone immediately. Wow. That would help for anyone who wants to order medicines, especially people in diaspora, mm -hmm. and also for those who want to collaborate with us because we're really, really a go-to for any back-end pharmaceutical supply for mm -hmm. innovators. Yeah, and I'll be sharing this video personally, not just on the YouTube page, of course. I mean, please subscribe. Uh, I'll be sharing it with the pharmacists who I know, just to and, and also with our with our classmates, our alumni, just to see how far one of us has come. And you know, one one person has done it. You know, we can all you know take part and, and glory in that together. And so on that note, I'll say yeah. very very big thank you to Bimbola for taking the time out of her very busy schedule and to, mm -hmm. to try my schedule and and fit us in for this interview. It has been a pleasure speaking to you. I wish you well. I look forward to hearing more things that you're doing and I pray that you will continue to go from glory to glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mama. We have both come a long way. We yes. have, and I'm so yeah. glad. <laughs> from our, from uh, our student days, yes. Thank you. I know that I've got to make a change. I don't care if I break. At least I'll be feeling something just okay. It's not enough. Help me fight through the nothingness of life.